BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go! Get a blessing. Turn to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Vamos al... <coughs> you got me? Okay. I don't hear myself. You don't hear yourself? No. All right. Tech department, could you come out and um, raise up level 2 on the, uh, the main board? One Thank second. You. One second, everybody. We changed some down, but I didn't change yours enough. Because yours is under your beard. Say again. Come check, out to the, the main board in the check, sanctuary check. and um, raise up microphone level number two. Descend to the Jericho area. Go ahead. Check, check, check. Okay. All right, we're good. <clears throat> All right. So if you're... Uh, Open up your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 6. Vamos a Efesios capítulo 6. If you're on the PowerPoint and slides, you're on slide number 391. Si estás viendo las dia diapositivas, estamos en la diapositiva 391. We're going to be reading the, um, the whole chapter to start off our study. Vamos a leer el capítulo entero para comenzar nuestro estudio. So, uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. All right. So, Ephesians chapter 6, the whole chapter. Ephesians chapter 6, the capítulo entero. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment that embodies a promise, so that it may go well with you, and you may live long in the land. Fathers, don't irritate your children. Make them, re make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. Slaves, obey your human masters with the same fear, trembling, and single-heartedness with which you ob obey the Messiah. Don't obey just to win their favor, serving only when they were watching you, but serve as slaves of the Messiah, doing what God wants with all your heart. Work willingly as slaves, as people do, who are serving not merely human beings, but the Lord. Remember that whatever, that whoever does good work, whether he is a slave or a free man, will be rewarded by the Lord. And masters, treat your slaves the same way. Don't threaten them. Remember that in heaven, both you and they have the same master, as he has no favorites. Finally, grow powerful in union with the Lord, in union with his mighty strength. Use all the armor and weaponry that God provides so that you will be able to stand against the deceptive tactics of the adversary. For we are not struggling against human beings, but against rulers authorities, and cosmic powers governing this darkness against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. So take up every piece of war equipment God provides so that when the evil day comes, you'll be standing in Virginia. No, you'll be, you'll be able to resist. When the battle is won in Virginia, you will still be standing 
and the Democrats will no longer be a party. Therefore, stand, have the belt of truth, and be a libertarian. Uh, have the belt of truth ba buckled around your waist, put on righteousness for a breastplate, and wear on your feet the readiness that comes from the good news of shalom. Always carry the shield of trust with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of deliverance along with the, the sword given by the Spirit, that is, the Word of God. As you pray at all times, with all kinds of prayers and requests in the Spirit, vigilantly, persistently, for all God's people. And pray for me too, that whatever I, whenever I open my mouth, the words will be given to me to be bold, making known the secret of the good news which I am an ambassador in change, pray that I may speak boldly the way I should. Now, so that you may also be informed about how I am and what I'm doing, Tychius, the dear brother and faithful worker, for the Lord will tell you everything. This is the very reason I sent him to you so that you will know that know how we are getting along and so that he may comfort and encourage you. Shalom to my brother, to the brothers. May the God, may God, the Father, and the Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, give you love and trust. Grace be to all who love our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, with an undying love. Amen. All right. So we're going to go and we're going to. We're going to take a look at this chapter. Vamos a mirar este capítulo. We're on Ephesians chapter 6 slide. Estamos viendo, estamos leyendo Efesios capítulo 6. Now we're going on to next slide in Ephesians chapter 6 again. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva ahí. Efesios capítulo 6 nuevamente. All right, just speak again. Efesios capítulo 6 nuevamente. Um, let me just bring you more up. Tech department, could you bring up channel two just a little bit higher? I'm not getting enough for the recording in here. All right, going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Uh, the synopsis of chapter six. El resumen del capítulo six. Chapter six does not flow like the previous five chapters. El capítulo seis no fluye como la, los otros cinco capítulos previos. As we're reading the chapter, you see it. It's broken into sections. So, uh, mientras estábamos leyendo el capítulo, puedes ver que estaba dividido, separado en secciones. That's good, Tech Department. Uh, in chapter 6, en el capítulo 6, uh, there is distinctly six subjects that are written about. Distintamente hay seis temas de la cual se escribió. That's a very important thing to understand. Eso es bi algo bien importante para entender. There are six different subjects that are talked about in this final chapter. Hay seis temas diferentes de la cual se habla en este último capítulo. The only real thread that puts the pieces together eh, los único verdadero, el, el único verdadero tejido que une las piezas is they have something to do with Elohim. Es que tienen que ver algo con Elohim. Because there are six separate different topics. Porque hay seis temas Diferentes. But each subject can stand alone for itself. Pero cada tema puede este, pararse solo por, por sí mismo. But they don't necessarily go together. Pero necesariamente no se, no se unen. No, no, no. Sí, no se unen. So what's the purpose of chapter 6? So ¿Cuál es el propósito del capítulo 6? It's an, it's an overview of further information that's going to come from Paul's disciple. Es, es un, es it's, un, a, it's an overview. A, 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 like a, a synopsis. A, a un resumen. Uh, about what, what information Shaul's protege. De, de qué información del, del, del discípulo de, de Shaul. Uh -huh. Uh, he's going to bring them the rest of the information. Que él le va a el resto de la because it says Tychicus. So those Greek names are just always a, a problem. Uh, Tychicus. 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 
Tonka toys. Tonka toys. Tonka toys. <laughs> Uh, the dear brother and faithful worker for the Lord will tell you everything in verse 21. So he's telling them that his, his subordinate, the guy who works for him, is going to tell them the rest of the subject. Él está diciendo que el que trabaja por él va a decirle el resto de las cosas. Okay, so we're going to go down. Now we're going to go to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. And I'm, I'm going to show you how it's broken down. Te voy a mostrar cómo está dividido. Because it's six separate sections. Porque son seis secciones diferentes. And they're very distinctively different topics. Y, y son temas que son distintamente diferentes. And this is going to wrap up the book of Ephesians, y the es, letter to the Ephesians. Y esto va a concluir la, la carta a los Efesios. Now, section number one is verse one through four. La sección número uno es, son versículos del uno al cuatro. It talks about children and parents. Habla sobre los niños y sus padres. Okay, verse one through four is versículos, children and parents. Versículos uno al cuatro habla de los niños y los padres. That's the first subject in chapter six. Es el primer tema en el capítulo seis. And then ver, section number two is verse five through nine. Y la sección número dos son versículos cinco a nueve. Which talks about bond servants or slaves and masters. Que habla de los siervos y los amos. Which doesn't have really anything to do with Children and parents. Que en verdad no tiene nada que ver con niños y padres. Except children, children are, amos. children are sort of slaves, but los, not really. Los niños pueden ser considerados esclavos o siervos, pero en verdad no. Okay, so that's verse 5 through 9. Son versículos 5 al 9. That's bond servants or, or, or slaves and masters. Eso es siervos y amos. Then section number 3. Entonces, la sección número tres is verse 10 through 13. Son versículos 10 al 13. This is a preface to the whole armor of God. There's a whole section that goes before the armor of God. Este, esta es la sección que viene antes de, de toda la armadura de Dios. Okay, let me say that again. Voy a repetir. Because you're supposed to be taking notes. Está supuesto estar tomando notas. Because this is one of the things I find lacking in most believers Porque esto es algo que yo veo que no se encuentra en muchos creyentes. They don't know how to take notes. No saben cómo tomar notas. They don't know how to uh, break down the biblical information. No saben cómo este di, di, disectar la información bíblica. One of the things that the devil is very good at. Una, una de las cosas que el diablo es muy bueno. He studies the Bible. Él estudia la Biblia. He knows it better than most humans. Él lo conoce mejor que muchos humanos. And he knows uh, how to just turn it because, he, you know, turn it to his favor. Y él sabe cómo viral las palabras en la Biblia a su favor. Because he studies the word of God instead of gossiping. Porque él, es, él estudia la palabra de Dios en vez de chismear. Okay, so... Uh, there's a whole section in verse 10 through 13. Hay una sección entera de, de versículos 10 al 13. That talks about the armor of God, but not the exact uh, equipment. Habla de la armadura de Dios, pero no, de, no del equipo. Okay, now section number four. Ahora la sección número cuatro. Is verse 14 through 17. Son versículos 14 al 17. And that is the armor of God. Y eso es, eso habla sobre la armadura de Dios. But you can't understand the armor of God. Pero no puedes entender la armadura de Dios. Unless you understand the Torah. A menos que entiendas la Torah. Because it's the high priest's garments. Porque es, es el vestimento del sumo sacerdote. And if you don't know the job of a high priest. Y si no conoces la función del sumo sacerdote. Then, yeah, I got the sword of the spirit. Entonces tengo la espada del espíritu. You got a paper sword. Tienes una espada de papel. And you're going to try to slay the, the, the devil and he's going to, that paper sword is not going to hurt me. Él va a tratar de, de, de matar al diablo con la espada y él se va a reír en tu cara diciendo, eso no me va a hacer this, this, is what, this is why the body of Messiah has no power. You have no power. Yeah. 
Por eso que el cuerpo de Mesías no tiene poder. No um, tienes poder. Ok. Ok, that was a reference to Lord of the Rings. Great, great series of movies. Eso es una referencia a Lord of the Rings. Es una, una buena serie de películas. Ok, so if you ever get the chance and you got 14 hours. Si so, tiene 14 horas para verlo, véalo. Watch the Lord of the Rings. It's not demonic, it's biblical. No es demoníaco, es bíblico. It, sí es. No, she, and, she thought that it was demonic. That's no, it's not. No. It, Está basado en la Biblia, en la Torah. The hobbits are Israel. Lo, los, los enanitos son Israel. Yes. It's going against... It's, it's a great, great movie series. It was written... All right, we'll come back to the yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> We've got a few people here, and now we're, we're, we're bunny trailing. We're going off on a bunny trail here. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now section number five Ahora, la sección número cinco is verse 18 through 20. Son versículos 18 al 20. Just think if you were here, you can be part of this conversation and have really good Haman Tashin. Haman Tashin and Flancocho. Oh, and that really good drink there. Okay, 18 through 20 is, <laughs> that subject is prayer. Eh, that, eh, eh, versículos 18 al 20, el tema es oración. Okay, so verse 18 through 20 is prayer. Versículos 18 al 20 es oración. And then finally, section number 6 is verse 21 to 24. Eh, finalmente, la sección número 6 son versículos 21 al 24. Es final greeting. Que son la, la despedida. All right, section 1, verse 1 through 4, children and parents. Section 1, verse 1 through 4, children and parents. Sección número 1, versículos 1 al 4, niños y padres. Section 2, verse 5 through 9, slaves and masters. Sección número 2, versículos 5 al 9, siervos y amos. Section number 3, verse 10 through 13, preface to the whole armor of God. Eh, sección número 3, versículos 10 al 13, eh, la, este, el, an, hablando sobre eh, la armadura de Dios. Um, verse, section number five, uh, section number four, verse 14 through 17, the actual armor. Section number four, versículos 14 al 17, la armadura de Dios. Section number five, prayer, verse 18 through 20. Eh, versículos, section number five, versículos 18 al 20, oración. And finally, uh, uh, section number six, verse 21 to 24, final greeting. Sección número 6, versículos 21 al 24, la despedida final. Ok, so let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Let's go to our key verse. Vamos a nuestro versículo clave. Ok, verse 14 through 17. Versico, nuestros versículos claves. The key Vamos verses. A, al di, eh, versículo 14 al 17. Ok, this, this is uh, the key verses. Estos son los versículos claves. Okay, it's verse 14 through 17. Son versículos 14 al 17. Therefore stand, have the belt of truth buckled around your waist, put on righteousness for a breastplate, and wear on your feet the readiness that comes from the good news of Shalom. Always carry the shield of trust with a 9 millimeter, with which you will be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the, or 357, and take the helmet of deliverance along with the sword given by the Spirit. That is the Word of God. Okay. So I was making some funnies in the middle of that, but actually it's the armor of God. Actualmente es la armadura de Dios. Without understanding this section, sin entender esta sección, that this section is referring to the Kohen Haggadol's garment. Que esta sección se está refiriendo al vestimento del sumo sacerdote. You don't know what a spiritual battle is all about. No entiendes de qué se trata una batalla espiritual. Okay, you need to understand all the pieces of the war equipment. Necesitas entender todas las piezas del equipo de guerra. In light of the Kohen Haggadol's garments. En, 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 the high priest. En, en el parecer del vestimento del sumo sacerdote. Okay, because it says about Righteousness for a breast, breastplate. Porque habla de, de justicia por un... Uh, armor. De, de, la, de la armadura. A, a food. The ephod. Vestimenta, okay. Okay. 
so you got to understand what righteousness is to God. So necesitas entender de qué es justicia para Dios. But if you don't understand what righteousness is to Him, si no entiendes qué es justicia para él, then you're putting on a breastplate that's going to stop nothing. Entonces te estás poniendo una armadura que no va a detener nada. Isabel's correcting me on pre preface. It's introduction. An introduction. Yeah. Okay. So tell people that in Spanish. Eh, para, para cuando estaba hablando sobre la sección número este, cuatro, que la, la tres. Cuando estábamos hablando de la sección número tres, es la introducción a la armadura de la, la armadura entera de Dios. Okay. So this is the main if you had to pick one main section of chapter six. Si tienes que escoger, si tendrías que escoger una sección principal del capítulo seis. You need this would be the main the key verses of the chapter. Estos serían los versículos claves del capítulo. But as I said, this particular chapter Pero como dije, este capítulo en particular is a, basically he's, he's ending his teaching to the Ephesians. Aquí él está terminando su enseñanza a los Efesios. And he's sending somebody else to teach the rest. Y él está enviando a otra persona para que le enseñe el resto. But um, most people don't understand the armor of God. Pero la mayoría de personas no entienden la, sobre la armadura de Dios. Especially the Christians. Especialmente los cristianos. You know, they teach the little kids and they dress them up in, as a, a knight in shining armor. Que lo, eh, eh, le enseñan a, a los niños y lo, lo visten como si fuera un caballero de... ¿De, de qué? De guerra. And, the, the, and the, the, the demon world is just laughing at us. Y el mundo de se está de Because you have no power. No poder. Okay, going on to the next slide. Vamos a la uh, let's start off section number one. We're going to try to get through section number one and number two tonight. Vamos a tratar de terminar secciones número uno y dos esta tarde. Okay, that's, that's the goal of tonight to get through two sections. Esa es la meta de esta noche, de esta tarde es este tratar de terminar dos secciones. Okay, and then remember also during the day if you're feeling down, listen to wtrcradio.com to listen to messianic music, worship music if you're feeling down. Acuérdate que si te sientes con ánimo bajo, eh, sintonízate a wtrcradio.com. And pretty a donde, a donde se toca lo mejor eh, música mesiánica de hoy y ayer. And hopefully in two weeks, Saturday after the Shabbat is at 8 p.m. Y esperando que Dios permita, Hashem permita, en dos semanas después que termine el Shabbat a las 8 de la tarde. We're going to be going live from the congregation with Messianic music after the Shabbat, after 8 p.m. Vamos a estar transmitiendo en vivo desde la congregación. With DJ Ben Jimenez. el show. Es la hora del fuego ardiente. Espíritu Santo en fuego. <laughs> All right. So let's start section number one, which is verse one through four. Vamos a ver la sección número uno con versículos uno al cuatro. This has been a commercial for WTRCradio.com. Esto ha sido un anuncio para WTRCradio.com. All right, section number one is, ver, uh, is cha chapter six, verse one through four. Sección número uno, son ver, eh, versículo, capítulo seis, versículos uno al cuatro. Now, this is a very important section. Esto es una sección bien importante. If anybody ever says to you, we're not under the law anymore. Si el, alguien te dice que no estamos bajo la ley. You need to know these four verses. Necesitas saber o conocer estos cuatro versículos. Because this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Shaul was teaching the Torah. Esto, esto muestra sin, sin duda ninguna que Shaul estaba enseñando la Torah. So when somebody says we're under grace, we don't have to follow the law anymore. Si alguien dice que estamos bajo la gracia, que ya no tenemos que seguir este, la Torah. You go to section number one, Ephesians 6, 
section 1. Tú vas a Efesios capítulo 6, sección número 1. Which is verse 1 through 4. Que son versículos 1 al 4. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment that embodies a promise, so that, so that it may go well with you and you may live long in the land. Fathers, don't irritate your children and make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. Okay, so the synopsis of this section number one. El resumen de esta sección número uno. We see very clearly in verse two. Vemos claramente en el versículo dos. That Shaul is speaking about the commandments. Que Shaul está hablando sobre los mandamientos. Okay, he's speaking about the second commandment. Él está hablando sobre el segundo mandamiento. No, not the second el, commandment, the fifth, the, mandamiento. Fifth, the fifth commandment. El quinto mandamiento. Okay, and, he, and the fifth commandment is found in two places. Y el quinto mandamiento se encuentra en dos lugares. That are specific in two places. Específicamente en dos lugares. That is Shemot 20, Exodus chapter 20. Ese es Shemot, Éxodo capítulo 20. And Deverim, Deuteronomy chapter 5. Y Deverim, Deuteronomio. So why quote this, these commandments? ¿Por qué entonces citar estos mandamientos? Unless you're teaching those commandments. Al menos que estés enseñando esos mandamientos. Okay, let me say that again. Déjame repetir eso. Why quote these commandments? ¿Por qué citar estos mandamientos? Unless you're teaching all the commandments. Al menos que estés enseñando todos los mandamientos. Because how does one honor their father and mother? How does one honor their father and mother? ¿Cómo es que uno honra su padre y su madre? The way God would want you to. Como Dios quiere que lo hagas. So you can't just say honor your father and mother. No so, simplemente puede decir honra tu madre y tu padre o the, tu padre y tu madre. This is what's so sad about the Seventh Day Adventists. Esto es lo que es tan triste sobre los, los adventistas del séptimo día. Or the Armstrong people. O los la, el, la gente de Armstrong. Who keep the Shabbat. Que guarda I'm on slide 306, Evelyn. We're, on, we're being asked what slide we're on. Oh, estamos en la diapositiva 306. 306. 306. Okay. So, the, the Seventh-day Adventists keep the Shabbat. I thought we were on 391 earlier. No. 390, 396. Estamos en la diapositiva 396. 396. 396. Okay. So, when I, going back to the seventh-day Adventists. Cuando estamos este, hablando sobre los adventistas del séptimo día. Who keep the, the Shabbat. Que guardan el Shabbat. Okay. So, um, how does one keep the Shabbat holy? ¿Cómo es que uno guarda o mantiene el Shabbat santo? They're keeping the Shabbat. Están guardando Shabbat. But unless you have the rest of the laws, then you might be breaking the holiness of the Shabbat. Entonces puede estar quebrantando la santidad del Shabbat. Like you could be cooking on the Shabbat. Puede estar cocinando en el Shabbat. You may be having marital relations on the Shabbat. Tal vez tenga relaciones matrimoniales en, en Shabbat. You might be doing a host of other things that would make you unclean or breaking the holiness of the Shabbat. Tal vez esté haciendo otras cosas que te hace impuro y quebrantando la santidad del Shabbat. So the same goes for verse number two. Lo mismo se trata con el versículo dos. It says, honor your father and mother. Dice, honra tu padre y tu madre. This unequivocally means that Shaul is teaching all the Torah. Esto sin duda demuestra que Shaul estaba enseñando toda la Torah. Because how does one honor your father and mother the way Jehovah wants. Porque cómo es que uno honra a tu madre y tu padre como como Jehovah quiere. So this is simple questions that you should always have in your mind. Estos son preguntas simples que debes siempre de tener en mente. Like you you're wearing the sitio. Como es, tienes los sitio puesto. Or you're a married woman covering her head. O eres una mujer casada este, cubriéndose el cabello. Or you're growing a beard real long. O te está cre dejando crecer la barba. And a Christian comes to you and says, 
You're on the, you're, you're in bondage, man. Si viene un cristiano y dice que estás, estás atado, hombre. And you say, okay, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Entonces tú dices, okay, está bien, vamos al libro de Efesios. Chapter 6, verse 2. Capítulo 6, versículo 2. And it says, honor your father and mother. Dice, honra a tu padre y tu madre. How does one honor your father and mother? Because if you ask 10 people this same question, they're going to give you 10 different answers. Especially if you ask people from different cultures. You ask an Asian how they honor their mother and father. Honra tu padre y tu madre. That's gonna, they're going to tell you one type of answer. You ask a Puerto Rican how he honors his mother and father. You're going to get a very different type of answer. So it doesn't matter what the person says. Since this is scripture, como siendo esto escritura. Does Jehovah, the Father in heaven, blessed be his glorious name. Eh, Será que Jehovah, que, eh, que, que está en el cielo, bendito sea su, su nombre glorioso. Does he tell you how you should honor your father and mother? Eh, Será que él te dice a ti cómo debes de honrar a tu padre y tu madre. And yes, he does. Y sí, él lo ha, él That's lo why. That's why verse 2 is very important. Por eso que el versículo 2 es bien importante. This proves that Shaul is teaching the Torah. Esto comprueba que Shaul está enseñando la Torah. Because any teacher knows that you don't give a nebulous answer. Porque cada, que, uh, cada uh, maestro sabe que tú no das una respuesta cualquiera. An answer that doesn't have a firm Understanding. Una respuesta que no tiene un entendimiento firme. You give a kid an answer that is like jelly. Tú le da una respuesta a un niño con, con eh, una respuesta que es como la gelatina. That kid is going to sin. Ese niño va a pecar. Because you didn't give him any parameters. Porque no le no le diste ningún que este este guidance fences. Cerca, no, no, no le está dando límites, no le está dando, este, yeah, límites. Okay, so once again, verse 2 is quoting from Shemot, Exodus chapter 20, and Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 5. Nuevamente en el versículo 2, Shaul está citando de Shemot, capítulo 20, y Devarim, cap, eh, capítulo 5. The Ten Commandments are found in full in those two chapters. En esos dos capítulos, de esos dos libros, eh, los diez mandamientos se encuentran. Let's go on to next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Now we're going to focus now on verse number one. Vamos a enfocarnos ahora en el versículo número uno. Any questions so far? Hay preguntas hasta aquí. Okay, no don't, you, don't you wish you were here? There's Haim and Tosh. Uh, no more. Ah, oh, they're all gone. So. <laughs> <laughs> no more Haim and Tosh. Well, there's other... There's a flan, I think. Oh, just the Choco Flan. Ashkenaz Sephardic. Choco Flan, Flan Cocho, same thing. Okay. <laughs> But there's flan. <laughs> All right. Verse number one. Versículo número uno. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents for this is right. Now, the key in verse number one. In the verse. La clave en el versículo número uno. Is to understand the phrase in union. Es, es entender la frase en unión. Or some other, other translations say in the Lord. Eh, y otras traducciones dice en el Señor. So children, what you should do in the Lord, in union with the Lord. Eh, hijos, lo que debe de hacer en unión con el Señor. It, it, that uh, word is G2962. Esa palabra es G2962. So, this is a very important word to understand this section number one. Esto es una palabra bien importante para entender en la sección número uno. G2962 in the Greek language. G2962 en la lengua griega. Means number one. Significa número uno. 
He to whom a person or a thing belongs. A quien una persona o, o algo pertenece. So if you're in the Lord or in union. Si estás en el Señor o en unión. You think of yourself as belonging to the Lord. Tú piensas de ti como que tú, tú perteneces al Señor. Okay. Uh, and if you belong to the, somebody, some If you belong to somebody, si perteneces a alguien, that person that owns you esa persona que es dueño tuyo, has the power of deciding what you do. Tienes el poder de decidir lo que tú haces. So children, what you should do in union with the Lord. So hijos, lo que debes de hacer en unión con el Señor. So you, you're saying with this word is you belong to to the Lord. Lo que está diciendo aquí que tú perteneces al Señor. He is your master. Él es tu amo. Okay, so he's telling these new converts to Messianic Judaism. Lo que le está diciendo a los, estos nuevos conversos al judaísmo mesiánico. In part number 29 here. En parte número 29 aquí. Now, 29, over 29 weeks ago. Hace 29 semanas atrás. We started off with the study of the city of Ephesus. Comenzamos el estudio con la ciudad de Éfeso. These are Gentiles converting to Messianic Torah observant Judaism. Estos son este, gentiles que se han convertido al judaísmo a, mesiánico. Okay. Uh, Isabel, correct me again. It's not, not parámetros, it's parámetros. Yo dije parámetros. I said, I, I, I put the accent on the wrong syllable. You put the accent on the wrong syllable? Yes, yeah, syllable. <laughs> South America? Yes, yeah, South America. Ashkenaz, Safari. Okay. So... Definition number two. De significado número dos. For in union with the Lord. Para en unión con el Señor. Is the possessor and dispossessor of a thing. El poseedor y el que. Dis uh, he dispossesses. Uh, another word for dispossess. Dispossess. Desposeer. Okay. El que posee y desposee de una cosa. No, el que no dispossess. Dis dispose. Like they throw you out. Como te votan. Dispone, oh, dispone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Number three. El número tres. The owner. El dueño. The one who has control of the person. El que tiene control de la persona. The master. El amo. Okay, number four. Número cuatro. The sovereign. El soberano. Prince. Príncipe. Chief. Eh, jefe. Jefe. Uh, Roman emperor. Y el emperador romano. Okay, so if you're in union with the Lord. If you're in union with the Lord. Si estás en unión con el Señor. So let's read verse number one now that we, then we'll go over the definitions okay. of, again. Okay, vamos a leer el, el versículo número uno y repasamos las definiciones nuevamente. Because remember, these are new, me, these are new messianic converts. Acuérdate que estos son nuevos conversos al mesianismo. The, the thing about being born again. Eh, la cosa de, ser, de nacer de nuevo is you allow the Lord to become your master. Es que tú permite que el Señor sea tu amo. Okay, so they're leaving secular, uh, a secular lifestyle. Ellos están apartando de una, una forma de vida secular. They don't have crappy Christian doctrine. Ellos no tienen este, doctrina basura cristiana. Which mixes paganism, pagan worship in with true worship que, que mezcla la adoración pagana con la adoración verdadera so you have to think of yourself as a child of Elohim so entonces tienes que verte como un 
hijo o un niño de Elohim. So he's saying this to the new converts, these new Gentile converts. Él está diciendo esto a, a, a los nuevos conversos gentiles. To Messianic Judaism. Al judaísmo mesiánico. Torah observant Messianic Judaism. Eh, observantes de la Torah. Eh, 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 Okay, that in union, que en union, that means that you're together with the prince. Significa que tú estás junto o unido con el príncipe. You're allowing the prince to rule your life. Tú estás permitiendo que el príncipe gobierne tu vida. Remember, Yeshua is the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Acuérdate que Yeshua es el Sar Shalom, el príncipe de paz. Okay. Then another definition and definition of before the Roman Emperor. Entonces, el otro significado en el significado número cuatro, el emperador romano. You didn't tell the Roman Emperor anything. It was not a democracy, really. The Emperor did what the Emperor wanted to do. El emperador hizo lo que él quiso hacer. To same that what you must think about your lives. Es, es, es lo mismo que de, de pensar. Say that again. You must think of this the way you think of your own lives. Tienes que pensar de esto como piensas de tu propia vida. You can heaven is heaven is not a democracy. El cielo no es una democracia. It is an emperor. Jehovah is an emperor. Jehovah es un emperador. He loves his subjects. El el ama sus sujetos. But here Shaul is saying children what you should do in union with the Lord. Aquí Shaul está diciendo lo que debes de hacer en unión con el Señor. Okay, if you're in union with the Lord. Si estás en unión con el Señor. You have to obey your parents. Tienes que obedecer a tus padres. For this is right. Porque esto es el bien. So you have to look at this physically and spiritually. Tienes que mirar esto físicamente y espiritualmente. Okay. Physically, you're going to obey your earthly parents. Eh, físicamente vas a hacerle caso a tus padres terrenales. Spiritually, you have to obey the Father in heaven. Espiritualmente tienes que obedecer al Padre en el cielo. You have to do. You have to give the Father in heaven authority over your life. Tienes que darle al Padre del Cielo autoridad sobre tu vida. So he's wrapping up this, this book of Ephesians. So él está concluyendo este libro de Efesios. Reminding the congregation that they're children of Elohim. Acordándole a la congregación que son hijos de Elohim. And that you must give authority to Elohim. Y que debes de darle autoridad a Elohim. And if you don't. Y si no. You're going to hell. Vas al so if you don't keep the Shabbat holy, so si no guardas el Shabbat Santo, you're going to hell. Vas al if you like gossiping, si you're te, going to hell. Si te gusta el chisme, el Hara, vas al if you're breaking the holy days, you're going to hell. Si estás quebrantando los días santo, vas al infierno. If you're lying, cheating, or stealing, you're going to hell. Si estás, este, mintiendo, robando o haciendo trampa, vas al infierno. Okay. So the first thing is he's telling them in this final chapter. Lo, 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 the first thing? The first thing he's telling lo, them in this final chapter. Lo primero que él le está diciendo a ellos en este último capítulo. In definition number one. En, signific en el significado número uno. Who do you belong to? A quién tú perteneces. There's another pad if you need a pad. Over here if you want to. You need paper? Yeah, okay. Here, grab, grab a pad over here by the, the usher desk. Okay? Don't grab a pad over by the usher desk. Okay. So the first thing that you have to re realize Lo primero que tienes que realizar is who you have to decide who you belong to. Tienes que decidir a quién tú perteneces. Do you belong to the devil? Perteneces al diablo? Or those other 
gods that you were worshiping? O esos otros dioses que estabas adorando? Or do you stand for the Lord? O te paras firme para el Señor? That's what most people don't understand. Eso es lo que la mayoría de personas no entienden. They're more worried about what other people think of them. Están más preocupados de lo que la, lo, la demás gente piensa de ellos. Than defending their family godly name. Que defender el nombre piadoso de su familia. Now what do I mean by that? Hey, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué quiero decir con eso? When people are not following the word of God. Cuando la gente no están siguiendo la palabra de Dios. And you don't speak up. Y tú no hablas para defender. You're not in union with the Lord. No estás en unión con el Señor. Because you're allowing his kingdom to be torn down. Porque estás permitiendo que su reino sea derrumbado. Now remember in the previous chapter, in chapter 5. Acuérdate que en el capítulo previo, en el capítulo He cero, talked about anger. Él habló sobre la ira. And a conflict resolution. Y una resolución conflicto. So now in the next chapter. En el próximo capítulo. He's reminding them. Who do you belong to? He's reminding them who do you belong to. Él está este, acordando a quien tú le perteneces. So this starts up this, the end of the chapter. Esto, esto comienza el final del capítulo. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Okay. Verse 1 again, please. Versículo número 1, nuevamente. Children, eh. what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents for this is right. Okay. So now we think of it in the physical. Ahora pensamos este, en esto so, en lo físico. Talking to the children. Él está hablando con los niños. And he's telling... Uh, parents, he says, children. Dice, y niños. So he's giving the parents, not the secular government, authority. So he's saying you should obey your parents. Él está diciendo, Deben de obedecer a sus padres. And he's saying, obey your parents over the secular world. Él está diciendo, Obedezca sus padres en, por encima del mundo secular. This is a, a big issue, especially today. Esto es un, un asunto mayor, especialmente hoy. Since when parents send their children to the public school and don't homeschool their children. Como los padres envían a los hijos a, a la educación pública en vez de educarlo en casa. You parents are giving authority to the pagan government. Ustedes los padres le están dando la autoridad al, al gobierno pagano. So here in verse 1, so aquí en el versículo 1, he's saying children, obey your parents. Él está diciendo, hijos, obedezca a sus padres. They have authority over you. Ellos tienen autoridad sobre ti. Okay, and he says, Obey your parents. Él está diciendo, obedez, obedezca a sus padres. So let's understand what the word obey means. Vamos a entender lo que significa la palabra obedecer. It is G5219. Es G5219. It means, number one, to listen. Significa escuchar. Number two, to listen to a command. Escuchar un mandamiento o un comando. And the key one is for definition number three. Y la clave es el significado número tres. To obey. Obedecer. Be obedient. Ser obedeciente. Be obedient to, I mean. Eh, ser obedeciente a. Obediente. Obediente. Submit to. S someterse a. Okay. So here you must think of yourself as a child of Elohim. De Elohim. So here if you think of this in this spiritual, so aquí, si de esto en lo espiritual, you have to obey the commandments. Que los mandamientos. You have to be obedient to the commandments. Tienes que ser obediente. A los Al, go ahead. You need to submit to the commandments. Que, eh, eh, 
de entregarte o someterte o sujetarte a, a los mandamientos. So, here it's very clear. Aquí es bien claro. Once you understand some definitions, ya cuando entiendas algunos significados, he's teaching Torah. Que él está enseñando Torah. But most of the church uses this book to say we're not under the law anymore. And you can't even think about putting on the armor of God no puedes ni pensar de ponerte la armadura de Dios. and fighting evil y, y contra la maldad. if you have unforgiveness in your heart, si tienes rencor en tu corazón. if you're uh, Having Lash and Hara, if you're taking part of Lash and Hara. Si estás participando en el chisme de Lash and Hara. If you're not standing up for the kingdom and you're letting other people gossip. Si no está defendiendo el reino y está permitiendo que otros este, este, hablen chisme. Because why do I say that? ¿Por qué digo eso? Because if you're not protecting those that can't protect themselves. Porque si no estás protegiendo a aquellos que no se pueden de, si no estás defendiendo a aquellos que no se pueden defender. You're breaking the commandment. Estás quebrantando el mandamiento. Because Jehovah said to protect those that can't protect themselves. Porque Jehovah dijo que que defendiera a aquellos que aquellos que no se pueden defender. It's very interesting understanding. Es un entendimiento bien interesante. And the reason I'm saying that because in chapter 5 he went over this whole big part about that. Porque y la razón por qué estoy diciendo eso porque en el capítulo 5 él ya habló sobre eso en una gran parte. But even 2000 years later we still can't get this one right. Pero hasta 2000 años después no podemos este ni hacer este correcto. But it's not coming from the pulpit. Pero no viene del púlpito. Okay, because everybody's got their own personal walk with God. Porque cada uno tiene su caminar personal con el Señor. Okay, so here in definition number three. Aquí en el significado número tres. Submitting to God. Sometiéndose o sujetándose a Dios. Like you do to your parents here on earth. Como hace con tus padres aquí en la I'm tierra. sure many of my Latino brothers and sisters understand the chancleta. Yo, yo creo que muchos de mis hermanos latinos, hermanos y hermanas latinas, latinos entienden el tema de la chancleta. It had a homing device to Ben's head. <laughs> Tenían un GPS a la cabeza de Ben. Now there was that funny video where the girl was running away and the mother threw the thing and it hit the girl yeah, right on the head. Like half a mile down the road, right? <laughs> she was like, she had to be 50 feet away. Yeah. And then, ch -ch 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 hay un video de una hija que le está huyendo a la madre y la madre se quita la chancleta y como a 50 pies de distancia tira la chancleta y le da en la cabeza. It hit her right on the head. Okay. So here, verse number one. So aquí en el versículo número uno. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents for this is right. So you have to submit to your parents. Tienes que someterte, sujetarte a tus padres. Okay, so he's telling these new converts. Le está diciendo a estos nuevos conversos. Who are, now, remember, 29 weeks ago, I know that's hard. Acuérdate que 29 semanas atrás, yo sé que es difícil. Remember they were leaving worshiping Artemis. Acuérdate que ellos se, se estaban apartando de adorar a Artemisa. And Aphrodite and all these other pagan gods. Y todos estos dioses paganos. So now he's wrapping up the letter. So ahora él está, eh, culminando la carta. And he's telling them, children, submit. Él está diciendo, Hijos, This is the hardest part. Esta es la parte más difícil. Submit to your leadership. Sométate, o sujétate a tu liderazgo. Okay. They're an authority. A, su, a tu liderazgo. Ellos son la autoridad. So your parents are your leadership. Tus padres son tu liderazgo. Son tus líderes. Now, like I said earlier, an Asian doesn't raise their voice to their parent. Una, como dije antes, un asiático no levanta la voz a sus padres. You will be dead. Tú estarás, va a estar muerto. I've watched lots of Latino children raise their voices to their parents. Not to my grandmother, you don't. I'm, oh. I'm just looking at the shop right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the modern day. 
my, my grandmother, I remember as a kid, my grandmother, I'd do something wrong, and my grandmother had to do was look at me, and my head went down like this. I wouldn't dare look at my grandmother in her eyes when she looked at me like that. That's the way they raised, that's the way they raised, I guess, me because I was raised in the, with that generation, but my, my, my parents and my, my aunts and my uncles were all raised that way. I'm just watching the shop right at the sake that we go to. <laughs> yeah. Los niños de hoy en día no, 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 no le enseñan respeto. They don't and I'm, respect. And I'm watching some of the children that come here. Y yo miro a muchos de los niños que vienen aquí. And I'm watching some of the adults that come here. Y veo muchos de los adultos que vienen aquí. They act like a bunch of children. Actúan como niños. Los adultos. Okay. So... Here, now, why are we talking about this? Because you got to picture, you know, this congregation like the one in Ephesus. Mm-hmm. Why? Because we allow anybody to come and learn the, the laws of the Lord. But many people have a problem Submitting. Pero mucha gente tiene un problema de sometiéndose. So here he's reminding them, obey your parents, this a, is right. Aquí él está acordando a ellos que obedezcan a sus padres, que eso está bien. Submit. Sométanse. This is um, the hardest thing for it, really anybody to do to Jehovah. Esto es algo bien difícil para cualquiera hacer uh, para Jehovah. But if you call him father. Pero si tú le llamas a él padre. Then submit. Entonces, sujetase, sujetase. If you call Yeshua your Lord and Master, si está a Yeshua, tu Señor y tu amo, then submit. Entonces, and how do you submit? ¿Y cómo es que te Six, one, three. Six, one, three. Six, one, three. It's uh, ginger, gin, lemon ginger. It's regular though, but it's good. Yeah. All right, next slide. La próxima diapositiva. Now, it's, let's read verse 1. Vamos a leer el versículo 1. Children, what, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents for this is right. Well, what does right mean? ¿Qué significa correcto? It means not left. Significa, bueno, en, en, en inglés, significa no la izquierda. Okay. Derecha. Derecha, no la izquierda. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, right is a very big word to understand. Correcto es una palabra in, este, inmensa para entender. Now, once you understand this, you now also understand he's teaching the Torah. Que ya cuando tú entiendas eso, vas a entender también que él está enseñando la Torah. Okay. Now, like I said, the, this first section is, if you just study this, you can witness to all the Christians. Si, si solamente estudia esto, tú puedes testificarle a todos los cristianos. Because they think they're under grace. Porque ellos piensan que están bajo la gracia. The law is dead. Que la ley está muerta. Now once you understand what right, the word right means in the Greek. Que ahora cuando tú entiendas lo que significa la palabra correcto. You will be el able. Griego, vas a poder, you will be able to say, check me. Vas a poder decir, so if you think we're not under law, go to hell. So si piensas que no estamos bajo la ley, vaya al infierno. Because you, he said, this is what's right. Porque él dice, Esto es lo correcto. So what is right? ¿Qué es correcto? G1342. G1342. Number one, righteous. Número uno, justo. Observing divine laws. Observando leyes divinas. What would be divine laws? ¿Qué sería leyes divinas? Seis uno tres. Whoa, whoa. Seis uno tres. Whoa, whoa. Seis uno tres. Hmm. WTRC Radio. WTRCRadio.com. Okay. Divine laws. Leyes divinas. Keep the Shabbat holy. Guarda el Shabbat santo. How do you do that? ¿Cómo es que haces eso? Well, you got to read the Torah. Lee la Torah. There's lots of laws about keeping it holy. Hay muchas leyes sobre guardando el Shabbat santo. And in Leviticus 23, Viacre 23, eh, 23, 
It goes over the seven Moedim, or the seven holy days. And it says, no matter where you live. But we got a lot of, you know, Messianic congregations selling, celebrating Messiah Mess. Tenemos muchos en la en el cuerpo de de Mesías eh, celebrando eh, this is Messiah Mess. Messiah Mess. You know. Que es Navidad celebrando el Mesías. Yes. Uh, I don't see that in the Bible. Yo no veo eso en la Biblia. That's not a divine law. Eso no es una ley divina. Because there's such arguments when Yeshua was born. When tan, Yeshua was born. De, de, de la fecha que, que nació Yeshua. So here with the first definition, observing divine laws. So el, con la primera de, de, eh, significando, el, el primer significado, observando leyes divinas. Definition number two. Upright, integro. All right. Keeping the commandments of God. El, two. El, el, la, la número dos, guardando los mandamientos de Dios. What would that be? ¿Qué, qué será eso? Oh, that would be kosher. Eso será kosher. You mean I can't eat a Cuban sandwich anymore? No me puedo comer un sandwich cubano una medianoche. I can't go to the Chinese restaurant anymore? No puedo ir a noches de Colombia. Uh, <laughs> I can't get rib tips? No puedo comer puntitas de, de, de costilla. Definition number four. Let's skip el, number three. El significado número cuatro. Vamos a saltar la tres. What the word right means a way of thinking. Eh, una manera de pensar. Feeling. Sentir. And acting wholly conformed to the will of God. Y actuando es... Eh, Completamente conforme a la voluntad de Dios. Yeah. To the will of God. A la voluntad de Dios. How do you know the will of God? ¿Cómo es que conoces la voluntad de Dios? It's found in Torah. Se encuentra en Torah. So this is right. Esto es correcto. So once you understand the word, what the word means in Greek. Ya cuando tú entiendas lo que significa la palabra en griego. Well, the Gospels really weren't written in Greek. Eh, los, originally. The Gospels were not written originally oh, in Greek. Los evangelios originalmente no fueron escritos en griego. They were written in Hebrew. Fueron escritos en el hebreo. And the Detilin proves that. Y el Detilin, Detilin. Detilin. El Detilin comprueba eso. Where they found an original Matthew got, got, Manuscript. Que ellos encontraron un manuscrito original de Mateo. It was in Hebrew. Estaba en hebreo. Which is the perfect language. Que es la lengua perfecta. Greek is pretty good. Dude, really? You're going to do that to me now? <laughs> <laughs> El griego es eh, bueno también. No, it, it's like this. It's the second strongest language. Es la lengua. Eh, eh, es una lengua fuerte este, siguiendo a... a Biblical Hebrew is the perfect language. El hebreo bíblico es la lengua perfecta. How can you say that? El idioma perfecto. Because God gave us the commandments in Hebrew. ¿Cómo tú puedes decir eso? Porque Dios nos dio nos dio los mandamientos en hebreo. Okay. So here, what is right? Aquí lo que es correcto. Is following the will of God. Es seguir la le la voluntad de Dios. So let's read verse 1 again. So vamos a leer el versículo 1 nuevamente. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents, for this is right. Okay, so now that we know what the word right means. Ahora sabemos lo que significa la palabra correcto. So just by doing verse number 1 and looking up, a di having a dictionary. Solamente leyendo el versículo número 1 y tener un diccionario. You can show that he was teaching Torah. Puedes mostrar que él estaba enseñando Torah. As all Messianic congregations should be teaching Torah. Como todos los las congregaciones mesiánicas debe de estar enseñando Torah. But they teach Talmud instead. Pero enseñan el Talmud en vez de de la Torah. Let's go on to the next slide for those who are late. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva para aquellos que llegaron tarde. 
fashionably late. Okay, now we're going to read verse 1, 2, and 3. Ahora vamos a leer versículos 1, 2, y 3. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment that embodies a promise, so that it may go well with you, and you may live long in the land. Okay, verse 2 and 3, it says, embodies a promise in the end of verse 2. Versículo 2. It says embodies a promise. Versículo 2 dice que, que encompasses. Contiene, contiene, contiene una promesa. Contains. Contains. Contiene una promesa. Okay. So what does the word promise mean? ¿Qué significa la palabra promesa? Promise is G1860. Promesa es G1860. It means, number one, a promise. Significa, número uno, promesa. Number two, a promise of good, promise, a promise, good, or blessing. Un, una buen promesa o bendición. Okay. So here, so aquí, I owe that goodness I am beside myself. Wait a minute. I thought that the woman was the neck, not the tail. <laughs> okay, so it's in ver- let's read verse 2. Vamos a leer el versículo 2. Honor your father and mother. This is the, is the first commandment that embodies a promise. So he's quoting from. Él está citando de. Hold your place there in Ephesians 6. Mantén tu lugar ahí en el Efesios capítulo 6. And turn to Shemot 20 verse 12. Exodus 20 verse 12. Vamos a Exodus capítulo 20 versículo 12. Exodus 20, verse 12. Shemot 20. Exodus 20, capítulo 20, versículo 12. Shemot, Exodus 20, 12. Hold your place in Ephesians 6. Mantén tu lugar en Efesios 6. Y mientras tanto, estás escuchando a WTRCradio.com. Sí, señor. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. All right, everybody got it? You got it, Anna? Okay. 2012. <laughs> All right. Honor your father. I'll do it because Ariel's on the, and Tiffany's on the screen there. Honor your father and mother. <laughs> so Boston. No, they're so Philadelphia. <laughs> so that you may live long in the land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving you. Okay, so he's quoting from Torah. Está citando de la Torah. And now we just read a portion of the Torah. Y ahora terminamos de leer una porción de la Torah. Okay, so why quote it unless you're teaching the rest of it? ¿Por qué va a citarlo si no va, si, si, if you're not teaching the rest of it? If you're not teaching the rest of it. ¿Por qué citarlo si no estás enseñando eh, lo demás de la Torah? So now you know exactly what he's where he's copying it from. Ahora entiendes de a dónde lo está sacando. Okay, so once you show that to somebody who says you don't have to follow the law anymore. Cuando tú le muestres eso a alguien que te dice que no tiene que seguir la ley ya. Hopefully they'll, they'll pause and question their, their theology. Eh, eh, este, tal vez ellos pausen y cuestionen su teología. Because when you can show them an exact quote Porque cuando le puedes mostrar una cita exacta. So you don't just take it out of context. Para no sacarlo de contexto. You have to always keep it in context. Tienes que siempre mantenerlo en contexto. All right, going on to the next slide. A la próxima diapositiva. Go back to Ephesians 6. Regresemos, regresemos a Efesios capítulo 6. We're now we're going to read verse 1 through 4. Ahora vamos a leer versículos 1 al 4. Children, what you should do in union with the Lord is obey your parents, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment that embodies a promise, so that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, don't irritate your children to make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. So in the end of verse 3, al final, al final del versículo okay, uh, he was talking about things going good. 
Él estaba hablando sobre las cosas que vayan bien. When you're obedient to the Lord. Cuando eres obediente al Señor. Now, uh, he's saying that you'll go live long in the land. Él dice que para que vivas tiempo en, en la tierra. Which is a quote from Exodus 20, verse 12. Que es un... Es, es, Exodus 20, verse 12. Es una cita de Éxodo 20, versículo 12. But it's also found in Deuteronomy 28. Pero también se encuentra en Deuteronomio capítulo 20, versículo 8. Verse 1 through 14. Éxodo eh, capítulo 28. No. Deuteronomy. I mean, Deuteronomio capítulo 28, versículos 1 through 14. 1 al 14. Where there's a promise. Es donde hay una promesa. That'll, it'll go well with you in the land. Que te va a ir bien en la tierra. Now, in verse 15 of Deuteronomy 28. En, en versículo 13. 15. 15, 15 de, de Deuteronomio 28. Sí. Okay. It then goes into the curses. Entonces entra a las maldiciones. And these curses and blessings are also found in Leviticus 26. Y estas, estas este, bendiciones y maldiciones también se encuentran en Levíticos capítulo 26. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, he's also quoting the Torah again. Because how do things go well with you in the land? Honor your father. Honor your earthly father and mother. Okay. So now we're going to focus on verse 4. So ahora nos vamos a enfocar en el versículo 4. Fathers, don't irritate your children to make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. Okay, now in verse number four, Ahora en el versículo número cuatro, it starts off with the word father. Empieza con la palabra padre. Okay, this is a command that's addressed particularly to the fathers. Este mandamiento es, es específica, específicamente para los padres. Now remember the last two weeks. Acuérdate las últimas. No, the last últimas, three weeks. Las últimas tres semanas. We were going over the biblical order of the family. Estábamos estábamos viendo la orden bíblica de la familia. Okay, where the fa the man, the father was the head of the home. A donde el hombre es la o el padre es la cabeza del hogar. That the wives have to be submissive. Que las esposas tienen que sujetarse. To their husbands. A los Esposos. Okay, so now in verse number four, Ahora el versículo número cuatro, he addresses the fathers because they're new at this following the Torah. He's now reconfirming what we did in chapter five. Ahora él está reconfirmando lo que leímos en el capítulo 5. About the biblical order of a proper family. De la orden bíblica de una, uh, una familia apropiada o correcta. The, the fathers are the head of the family. Los padres son la cabeza de la familia. And you have to think of this a family in a government type of system. Y tienes que pensar de la familia como un sistema, un sistema gubernamental. Like he's the king of the castle. Como él es el rey del castillo. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Bing, zoom. <laughs> Gubernamental. Alice. I was watching the honeymooners. Wow, yeah, bang, right in the kisser. <laughs> okay. Are you still talking? You were talking this morning at theology, now you're talking in a Bible study. I liked it better when you couldn't talk sometimes. Okay, so the father is uh, the head of the family. So el padre es la cabeza de la familia. And the people under him have to be committed to that leader. The eh, people lo, subordinate. Los, los, los sujetos tienen que estar... Este, have to support the king. Because why is he not saying mothers? Huh? Okay. 
Los, let me, let me los, say, suje, me... los, los sujetos tienen que apoyar al rey. El padre es como, es como el rey y los sujetos que están debajo de él tienen que apoyar al rey. La, las personas, yeah, pero él, él, él usó sujetos. Súbditos. 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 Ah, que están debajo de él. Exacto. Okay. Mejor que sujeto, sujeto. Right. Okay. Got it? All right, yeah. Okay. All right, so now in this fourth verse, he's particularly talking to the head of the house. Ahora en este cuarto versículo, él específicamente le está hablando a la cabeza del hogar. Because remember, they're new at this. Porque acuérdate que es, es tan, es son nuevos en esto. Because it's, it's a different, better system. Es un, un sistema mejor. Okay. Asher! Thank you. Okay. So, he's now addressing the fathers. El ahora le está este, dirigiendo a, la, a los padres. Because they're new at following God and His rules. Porque son nuevos en seguir a Dios y sus reglas. Because the world has their set of rules. Porque el mundo tiene sus reglas. And one of the reasons you really know America is at its end. Y como sabes que América está en su final. Is you need to study Rome. Es que necesitas estudiar Roma. Once you study Rome, because of the American system is pattern, the Western civilization, la, eh, este, the Western civilization occidental is pattern after Rome. Es patrona, pa, pa, Parallels. Para, paralelo a Roma. At the end of the Roman Empire, el, el fin del Imperio Romano, Homosexuality was very big. El homosexualismo era, era bastante amplio. Taxes were very high. Los impuestos eran bien altos. The people had been disarmed. La, el pueblo ha sido desarmado. And women were in charge. Y las mujeres estaban a cargo. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to Beth Goyne. Bienvenido a Beth Goyne. Where's the Roman Empire today? ¿A dónde está el Imperio Romano hoy día? On pages inside a bound book. Let me say that again. Deja repetir eso. And why this is so important. ¿Y por qué esto es tan importante? And why I do my job no matter how I feel. ¿Y, y por qué yo cumplo con mi trabajo no importa cómo yo me sienta? I'm trying to buy some more time for... For us, because if God's happy, he gets some more time. Estoy tratando de agradar al Señor para poder lograr detener el tiempo un poco para nosotros. He has a place that's his. Él tiene un lugar que es de él. Place that's dedicated to him. Un lugar que es dedicado a él. Even our pagan family gets some more time. Hasta nuestra familia pagana recibe más tiempo. Rome. Look at the Roman Empire. Mira el Imperio Romano. High taxes. Alto impuestos. Homosexuality. Homosexualismo. Disarm the people. De desarmar el pueblo. Women were in charge. Y las mujeres estaban a cargo. Remember the beginning of this study 29 weeks ago. Acuérdate del comienzo de este estudio hace 29 And semanas. if you missed any part of the study, it's on the website. Si, si no ha visto alguna parte de, de este estudio, está en nuestro sitio web. So he's talking to the fathers. Él está hablando con los padres. Because they have not been thoroughly trained yet. Porque no han sido entrenados. Ooh, it just flickered. You saw that? Yeah, it's recording. Oh. Eh, porque no han sido enseñado. This is why we're training men here. Por eso que estamos enseña, eh, entrenando hombres aquí. Because we've all been sinners. Porque todos hemos 
eh, hemos, eh, fuimos pecadores. And we like to point fingers at other people. Y nos gusta enseñar a los demás. But we all should be learning from the word of God at pero, this place. Pero todos debemos de estar aprendiendo de la palabra de Dios en este lugar. So here he's saying in verse 4, fathers. So aquí en el, en el versículo 4, él está hablándole a los padres. I'll tell you about a new thing that we're going to be doing on Shabbat. Te voy a eh, hablar de algo nuevo que vamos a hacer en Shabbat. Teaching the young men some skills. Enseñándole a los jóvenes, los adolescentes, nuevas habilidades. And teaching the young women other skills. Y enseñarle a las, a las adolescentes este, otras habilidades. We're going to be changing some things around here. Vamos a estar cambiando algunas cosas aquí. We're going to develop fathers and real mothers. Vamos a desarrollar padres y verdaderas madres. So here it started 2,000 years ago. So aquí comenzó hace 2,000 años atrás. He was teaching the Gentiles how to be a real Jewish dad. Él estaba enseñando a los gentiles cómo ser un verdadero padre judío. And how do you do that? Y cómo es que hace eso? You got to teach them how to live like a follower of Yah. Tienes que enseñarle cómo vivir como seguidor de ya. You got to leave where you came from. Tienes que apartarte de donde de donde viniste. Tienes now que these were all these were all pagans. Eran todos paganos. So you're going to hit some bumps in the road. Te vas a tropezar en el camino. And the, the demons are not going to leave easily. Y los demonios no se van a apartar fácilmente. But with God. All things are pos possible pero, through pero Yeshua con, who strengthens us. Pero con Dios todo es posible a través de Yeshua que nos fortalece. And you got to be a stiff-necked Jew. Y tiene que ser un judío testaduro. Okay, so he's talking to the fathers. <laughs> he's talking to the fathers. Él está hablando a los padres. And he's, he's telling them this is important because Many cultures don't have this even today. Él está diciendo esto a ellos y es bien importante porque muchas culturas no tienen esto. Esto hasta en el día. And this is why chapter 5 was important. Y por eso que el capítulo 5 era importante. Men, you're in charge. Hombres, están a cargo. But you got to be in charge with this over this. Tienes que estar a cargo con la mente sobre los músculos. And you got to be in charge with God. Y tienes que estar a cargo verticalmente con Dios. You got to stop following the government. Tienes que dejar de seguir el gobierno. You got to stop taking handouts from the government. Tienes que dejar de tomar este freebies, gratis, gr grat gr gratis del gobierno. Cosas gratis del gobierno. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Verse 4 again. Versículo 4 nuevamente. Fathers, don't ever take your children and make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. Amen? Amen. So he says, don't irritate. Well, what the heck does irritate mean? He said, no, no irrites. No You're gonna provoque, need to... no provoque. Okay. So irritate in some translation is the word provoke. Esta palabra es pro provoque, provocar. Eh, irritar es, es provocar en algunas este help Isabel no 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 go ahead okay this is G3949 este es G43949 it means rouse to Rouse to wrath, or to awaken to wrath. Eh, eh, significa a uh, te despertar con ira to o a la ira. To provoke. A provocar. Exasperate. Exasperar. Uh huh. Anger. Ira. Now it's not the way you think it is. No es como tú piensas que es. Because a lot of times you tell a three-year-old you can't do that. Yeah. Like Asher was just a moment ago. You tell the child no, like a three-year-old or a teenager. 
a un, a un niño de tres años como un, un adolescente, no. Y, y, you just don't know. Y, 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 y se ponen bien mal criados. They're my friends. And you, the mother says, I don't want you going out with that boy. Right? Huh? You know, Rabbitson's, uh, no, some of my other, girl, other girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you going out with that boy. No quiero que salgas con ese niño. Okay. <laughs> Pero tú no sabes. But he, but, he's, but he treats me nice, Ma. Me trata bien, papi. Okay. El es hijo de un rabbi. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> ¿Qué? I wasn't listening close enough. I said, he's the son of a rabbi. <laughs> he's the son of something else. No, that she was saying that in the, tra tr um, the translation, it's coming in and out. Isabel, is it coming in and out? Was it Dechi, coming? Dechi, Dechi. I understand, but maybe it's where she is. Yeah. I'm trying. Where, when you were traveling, was the translator mic coming in and out? It was good. Okay. All right. Denise, is it coming in and out? Or did you fall asleep? Okay, so the definitions don't really give a full understanding. Isabel said, no, los significados en verdad, no, they give a better understanding? The, I, I'm, I'm, yes, what did Isabel, what is she correcting Isabel you Isabel said no, and that she said that it's, now it's better. Okay, all right. Okay, so the definitions. So los significados don't really give you a full understanding in this particular case. En verdad no te dan un entendimiento completo en este caso. Because, you know, you tell a teenager they can't do something. Porque le dice a un adolescente que no puede hacer algo. They're going to get angry at you. Se van a poner, se van a enojar con So is that what, what Shaul is telling them? Is that what Shaul is telling them? Eso es lo que Shaul está diciendo. No, he's not telling them to, to be nice to your children. No, él no le está diciendo que sea este, amable con tus hijos. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Because he says, don't irritate. Él dice, no irrites. What he's talking about, let's read all the verse Robo number. Kings. Let's read number, verse number four. Vamos a leer el versículo número cuatro. Fathers, don't irritate your children and make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. The word irritate is very important. La palabra irrita o provocar es bien importante. Because what he's telling them, Lo que le está diciendo, he's telling the, the father and the, the parents, le está diciendo a los padres, give your kid clear, simple Directions. Dele a tus a tus hijos este direct este órdenes simples y claro. Okay, give the, your your children clear, simple directions. Dale a tus hijos direcciones o órdenes claros y simples. I always say Torah was written for idiots. Yo siempre digo que la Torah fue escrita para idiotas. Hi, Brittany. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> He's the rabbi's son. No. <laughs> okay. Torah was written for non-educated people. That's not me. I'm not moving. Torah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. La Torah fue escrita para gente simple. Because what what the worst thing that you can do es lo peor que puedes hacer is to sometime Sometimes follow Torah. Es, es, es a, a, a seguir la Torah de vez en cuando. You can, when you act, 
when es, you, es seguir la Torah de vez en cuando. When you act like a hypocrite. Cuando actúas como un hipócrita. That's when you irritate your children. Eso es cuando tú provocas a tus hijos. Like when you act one way at the congregation. Como actúas de una manera en la congregación. And as soon as you get in the car, you're letting the french fries fly. Y cuando entras al carro, estás saliendo las papitas fritas y... You're cursing, you're using profanity. You're cursing es, using profanity. Estás maldiciendo, usando profanidades. This is what he's saying in verse 4. Esto es lo que está diciendo en el versículo 4. Give them commands Dale órdenes that are easy to follow. Que son fáciles de seguir. This is what kosher is. Esto es lo que es kosher. This is what kosher is not. Esto es, esto lo que no es kosher. This is what the sh when the Shabbat begins. Esto es cuando comienza el Shabbat. This is when it ends. Esto es cuando termina. Okay. Make your requests reasonable. Es as to... Reasonables. You know, one of the worst things the kids can see. Una de las peores cosas que un niño pueda ver. And this is what he's saying in verse four. Y esto lo que él está diciendo en el versículo. Is their parents acting like hypocrites? Es que sus padres actúen como hipócritas. You know, one, at the congregation are one way. En la congregación son de una manera. And as soon as they get in the car, they're gossiping about everybody. Y cuando entran al carro, están chismeando sobre los demás. This is what he's talking about. Don't do that to your children. Esto es lo que él está diciendo que no haga eso a sus hijos. Because what you do, what he's saying, what you're doing to the children. Porque es lo que está diciendo aquí, lo que tú estás haciendo a tus hijos. Is you're pushing them away from God. Es que los lo está alejando de Dios. Because as soon as they get old enough, they're going to walk away from God. Porque ya cuando lleguen a a, a una cierta edad que sean mayores se van a apartar de Dios. Yes, we now have more people in the Bible, so you know, there's uh, all the hamantashin are gone. Yeah. Hi, Reverend and Veronica and Tina. Repite eso. Oh, uh, that. Uh, what about when a, f a father or mother is talking to a child and they start screaming at the child? To, to try to make them understand. Is that irritating them? No, that's not irritating. No, eso no es. Because the child should follow verse 2. Porque el, 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 el hijo debe de seguir el versículo 2. If your child is not honoring your father and mother by being disobedient, uh, your child is not honoring your father and mother by being disobedient. No está honrando a su padre o su madre en ser obediente. Then the child gets a smack. Entonces recibe disciplina. But what he's saying is, don't irritate. In verse 4. Lo que está diciendo, no provoque. Make your direction clear. Haga tus instrucciones claro. Don't act like a hypocrite. No actúes como un hipócrita. So, like you're saying, like my mother and father. Don't smoke. Como, como, como decía mi madre y mi padre, no fumen. As Pero both of my mother and father were smokers. Pero ellos because the child will do the opposite of what you say. El, el niño va a lo a lo que tú so what Shaul is saying in verse 4. So lo que Shaul está en el 4 make your direction clear. Haz tus instrucciones claro by what you say. De lo que dices and what you do. En, y lo que haces. If you're telling your, your child you should have shalom through any situation. Si le está diciendo a tu hijo que debe de tener shalom en cualquier situación. And they see you blow up at the con congregation. Y te, ves, te ven. They see you get angry. 
o, o airarte en la congregación. And the kid saying, well, I thought we were supposed to have shalom through any situation. Y el hijo dice, el niño dice, yo creía que teníamos que tener shalom en cualquier situación. So, you're irritating the kid. Le está provocando al niño. You want me to follow God's laws and you, you, you have no shalom. And the kids, the, you're irritating that child. Because your walk and your talk don't match. You're a hypocrite. So this is what verse 4 is about. And that's why he starts off with the father. That's why he starts off with the father. Por eso el que con el pa, con los This is after chapter 5. Es that men should be strong in the Lord. Que los deben de ser en el Señor. The wife should love having uh, an obedient husband to the Lord. Que la mujer debe de, de, de agradar y, y, y te, de tener un hombre obediente al Señor. Because the father is the head of the castle. Porque el padre es la cabeza del castillo. But if she's covering her head si ella se está cubriendo su cabello and she knows her husband is a fake y ella sabe que su esposo es un falso because he has no shalom porque no tiene shalom he blows around like the wind every everything causes a problem el, el va y viene como el viento que todo causa problema he doesn't travel in a straight line él no viaja en una línea recta he lets everything in, around him in, at, affect him at work él deja que todo al, al su alrededor le, le afecte en el, en su trabajo at the congregation en la congregación he's part of the chisme él es parte del chisme Then you're going to irritate your kids. Entonces vas a provocar a tus hijos. Why do we got to go to that place? Ay, porque tenemos que ir a ese lugar. Why do I got to keep the Shabbat? You don't keep the Shabbat, porque Dad. Tengo que guardar Shabbat si tú tampoco lo guardas. Mom. <laughs> so here in verse 4, this is what he's talking about. Aquí en el versículo 4 es de esto lo que le está hablando. Don't irritate your children. No irrites a tus hijos. Do simple directions. Eh, de instrucciones simples. But follow them yourself. Pero síganos tú mismo. Veronica? Yeah, um, also I think it will be the stability in the walk. The, uh, in the walk of faith. Because uh, that's another situation that is uh, seen in the, throughout the previous and before you that a lot of parents, they come all excited to learn and stuff like that. And then uh, there comes a test. There comes a, a quiz from God and they cannot um, uh, um, They are not able. They, they, let's, they don't have. The parents won't have the, the whole armor, so they are. Not, they do not succeed in this test, and they leave. So when they are going from one place to another with their children, then they're not showing an stability in the walk of faith, and that affects the children. And a lot of children leave the congregation. They, they, they leave God, not just the, uh, the congregation, but leave God. When they, when they, as soon as they grow up. So uh, I think that's a way of irritating children too. Yeah, okay, when you, the, the, the comments about irritating your children. Los comentarios de irritar a sus hijos. About hopping from play, place to place. De brincar de lugar en lugar. You know, staying for a little while. Eh, quedándote por un, un, un tiempo. Oh, this is the best place around. Ese es el mejor lugar. It's the kids. Uh, and then a year or two later, y un año o dos después, you know, oh, that place was terrible. Ah, ese lugar era horrible. So the kids like, you know, they might not say anything, Los niños tal vez no digan nada. but as soon as they're old enough, Pero ya cuando tengan la edad, 
They go to college as far away as possible. Se van a la universidad lo más lejos posible. And you're living in Jersey and your kids living in California. Tú estás viviendo en New Jersey y tus hijos están viviendo en California. Or your kids willing to join the military even though they don't like guns. O tus hijos están dispuestos a eh, entrar al, al, a la mil a la milicia y no le gustan las armas. Where can I go and get room and board and have a gun? ¿A dónde puedo ir a, a tener este cama y comida y tener un The una, army. Una, una arma? Okay. Because I got to get away from my parents. Porque tengo que alejarme de mis padres. And the, el ejército, el ejército. So here in verse 4 he's saying Thank don't you. do that. Uh, aquí en el versículo 4 él le está diciendo no haga eso. Okay, so let's read verse 4 again. Vamos a leer el versículo 4 nuevamente. We're not getting through section 2. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm looking at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Fathers, don't irritate your children and make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. The best um, witness you can be is somebody who is steady. El mejor test. Digo que tú puedes hacer es alguien fijo. What he's saying here with don't irritate. Lo que él está diciendo aquí, no irrites. Give your kids com commands that can be followed simply. Dele instrucciones a tus hijos que puedan seguir simplemente. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. Okay, um, verse number four again. El versículo número cuatro nuevamente. Fathers, don't irritate your children and make them resentful. Instead, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. Once again, we're focusing on irri don't irritate. But, nuevamente estamos enfocándonos en no irritar. Now remember, I keep saying in chapter 5, but I'm going to give you the specific verses. Yo, yo sigo hablando sobre el, el capítulo 5, pero aquí te voy a dar los versículos específicos. It was chapter 5, verse 22 to 25. Era Efesios capítulo 5, versículos 22 al 25. It was the duty of the wife. Era el deber de la, de la esposa. To obey her husband. Obedecer. Uh -huh. To obey her husband. Obedecer a su esposo. It was the duty of the husband. Era el deber de el esposo. To bring a home that has shalom. Mantener un hogar o traer un hogar que contiene shalom. Let me say that again. De repetir eso. This is what he's talking about in chapter 6. De esto es lo que le está hablando en el capítulo 6. He's saying, wives obey your husbands in chapter 5. Él está diciendo en capítulo 5, esposas obedezcan a sus esposos. But it is the husband's, the father's job. Pero es el papel del, o el deber del padre, del esposo. To do everything in his power. Hacer todo en su poder. To manifest a home. Para, este, to, para crear un hogar. Create a home, yes. That is filled with steadfastness, emuná. Que está este, lleno de emuná. It's up to us men. Es, este, nos toca a los hombres. But if the men are worse gossipers than the women, how are you going to have a home that's filled with shalom? Pero si los hombres son este, más chismosos que las mujeres, ¿cómo van a tener shalom en el hogar? If the men are more secular than they are men of God, si los hombres son más seculares que hombres de Dios, then you're going to have a home that is not filled with shalom. Entonces vas a tener un hogar que no está lleno de shalom. The biggest key that he's saying here about fathers, don't irritate your children. La clave más grande que le está diciendo, diciéndole aquí a los padres que no irrite a tus hijos. He's talking about the character of the man. Él está hablando sobre el carácter del hombre. And that's about responsibility. Y eso se trata de responsabilidad. And Denise still has an answer. Oh, yes, yeah, she, she says she's good. <laughs> That's what men are missing today, good character. Eso es lo que le hace falta a los hombres hoy, buen carácter. And good character comes with this. Y buen carácter viene con esto. Steadiness. Es, Emuna. Es el fijo. Estabilidad. The storm can be raging, but you're steady. Eh, puede, puede haber una tormenta, pero estás estable. 
People can say bad things about you. Pueden la gente hablar cosas malas sobre ti. People could do bad things to you. Pues la, la gente puede hacer cosas malas, te pueden hacer cosas malas. But you're steady. Pero tú estás fijo, tú estás estable. Because you know God is your shield. Porque tú sabes que Dios es tu escudo. People who have been saying bad stuff about me for the last 22 years. I don't care what you say. What I care about is what my king says. Because when I, when I die, I want Yeshua to say to me, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Que cuando yo muera yo quiero que Yeshua diga bien hecho mi 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 siervo este buen bueno y fiel. Well, he hurt my house. Ay, me, 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 me lastimó mi casa. He said something bad about my daughter or my son. Él dijo algo malo de mi hija. Whatever. That means you're putting more what they what they care about than what God cares about. Eso quiere decir que tú estás poniendo más énfasis en en lo que le importan a ellos de lo que le importa a Dios. So here Shaul is saying, guys. Aquí Shaul está diciendo, muchachos. Stop being secular. Deja de ser secular. You're now messianic Jews. Ahora son judíos mesiánicos. That's why you got to go back to the beginning of the study. Por eso que tienes que que regresar al comienzo del estudio. These lessons are so pertinent today. Estos, estas lecciones son tan pertinentes para el tiempo de hoy. Because the, the word of God is alive. Porque la palabra de Dios es viva. And it is a sword that cuts both ways. Y es una espada que, que de doble filo. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. We're going to finish section one. Vamos a terminar la sección número uno. Fathers, don't irritate your children and make them resentful. And said, raise them with the Lord's kind of discipline and guidance. So now he's saying, fathers, give proper discipline. Ahora le está diciendo a, a los padres que den eh, disciplina apropiada, correcta. So let's see what the word discipline means. Vamos a ver qué significa la palabra disciplina. It's G3809. Es G3809. The word discipline means discipline means uh, whole training and education. Significa el, 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 el entrenamiento y educación completo. Mm -hmm. A cultivation of the mind and morals. De cultivar la mente y morales. Cultivación de mente y morales. So fathers, you're in charge of giving the el tamaño, morals. El cultivar de la mente y morales. Fathers, you're in charge of giving the children proper morals. Padres están a cargo de... de, de say that again, please. The fathers are in charge of giving your children proper morals. Los padres están a cargo de este, dar a sus hijos los morales correctos. So divorce is not an option. What? Morales is a person. Moral. <laughs> Says Morales. No, Okay. Okay. Eh, so eh, men are in charge correcto. of instilling that into their, their children. Los hombres están a cargo de, 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 de sembrar eso en los hijos. The discipline that comes with obedience to your owner. La disciplina que viene con o, o ser obediente a tu dueño. If you're in union with the Lord, if you're in union with si the Lord, estás en unión con el Señor, they said a lot of bad things about Yeshua. Ellos hablaron muchas cosas malas sobre Yeshua. But he's reigning next to his Father in heaven. Él he's está reigning. reinando al lado de su Padre, a, a la mano derecha de su Padre en el cielo. So fathers, you, you got to develop good children. So padres, tienes que, que desarrollar buenos hijos. Discipline includes training. La disciplina incluye entrenamiento. And care for their body. Y cuidado de su cuerpo. Discipline number two. Disciplina la número dos. Is also chastisement. Es castigo. Because God chastises those he loves. Porque Dios castiga a quien él ama. So you're in charge of discipline of the, the, your children. So estás a cargo de disciplinar a tus hijos. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima diapositiva. 
Verse 4 again. Fathers, don't irritate your children to make them resentful and said, raise them with the Lord's kind of guidance. And discipline and guidance. So now we're looking at guidance. Estamos mirando, este, guiar. Guidance, guidance is sometimes the word instruction in some translations. En traducciones también se, se encuentra la palabra instrucción. It's G3559. Es G3559. It means admonition. Significa ad, admonition. Exhortation. E exhortation. So this word guidance ties together with discipline. Esta palabra guiar se, se, se une con este, disciplina. How do, you, how do you exhort your child to do the commandments? ¿Cómo exhortas o, o, este, o animas a tu hijo a eh, obedecer los mandamientos? By following them yourself. Siguiéndolo tú mismo. Having shalom in the storm. Eh, teniendo paz y sha o shalom en la tormenta. You know, saying, you know, we got to just trust in the Lord. Diciendo, no, no solamente diciendo, tenemos que confiar en el Señor. But really follow through with it. Pero en verdad seguir, este, ver, verlo a, a, a... Do it. Hacerlo. Okay, so this is what he's saying that to the fathers in verse number four. Esto es lo que le está diciendo a los padres en el versículo número cuatro. All right, we're going to end on that slide. Vamos a terminar en esa diapositiva. We're going to end section number one. Vamos a terminar la sección número uno. As you see, it's, uh, you know, it took us two hours to get through this. Ves que nos tomó dos horas para este, re, eh, estudiar esto. But how important and powerful it is. De lo cuán importante y poderoso es. Tina? She's got a question. Like my mother. Yo la corrijo en el amor. O sea, yo le tengo que decir la verdad conforme a la palabra. I correct her in love and I have to tell her the, the truth according to the word. Ella a veces llora. Sometimes she cries. Y yo trato de volver a explicar. Y en un momento... And I try to, to explain again, and in a moment, I had felt like I was um, disrespecting her. I had to keep telling her what, what was true in the word. It took me time to do it. It took me time to do it, but I had to do it, and she suffers, she cries, and she gets mad at me. Sometimes she doesn't want to ask me, but I still take care of her. She's getting mad at you for what? Because you're telling her not to eat ham? Because I don't keep doing what she wants me to do. Like, um, el chantaje. And she, she puts her through a guilt trip. She's getting mad at you because you're telling her the law? So she's not getting mad at you. She's getting mad at God. Because it's not your law. We're to tell the truth. And if somebody gets mad at us, y si se enoja con nosotros, like, you know, say somebody's gossiping, que se está shouldn't you stop them? No debes de, de of course. Uh, sí. But they're going to get mad at you. Pero se van a Who cares what they get mad at you? They're going to hell. Your mother's getting mad at you because you're telling her the law. And your mother's going to hell. The truth is the truth. La verdad es la verdad. Not everybody's getting into heaven. No todos van a entrar al cielo. There's a lot of, you know, Yeshua says... Hell is a big place. Yeshua dice que el infierno es un lugar bien amplio. Proverbs says hell has opened its mouth wide. Eh, Proverbios dice que el infierno ha abierto su boca. Our job is to tell the truth in love. Grandemente. Nosotros tenemos que, que decirle la verdad en amor. Mm -hmm. Eso no se puede. 
siempre. And she, I do that all the time. Sometimes I, I, I won't call her, you know. But I don't stop. I don't stop taking care of her. Yeah, well, you gotta give them the truth. Even if the truth hurts them. If your mother was on the Titanic, wouldn't you tell her that the boat was going to sink? Si tu mamá estaba en el Titanic, no le diría a tu mamá que se va a hundir. If you knew the Titanic was going to sink. Si sabía que se iba a hundir el Titanic. And your mother had a, a ticket to on that first voyage. Y tu mamá tenía un, un boleto para ese primer viaje. Wouldn't you tell her, don't get on that boat? No le diría, no te montes en ese barco. Wouldn't you do everything in your power to tell them not to get on that boat? No haría todo en tu poder para que no se montaran. It's the same with the word of God. Es lo mismo con la palabra de Dios. The world is the Titanic. El mundo es el Titanic. Our job is just to stand for the truth. Nuestro, nuestro trabajo es pararnos firme por la verdad. Throw them a life preserver. Say, you're going to need this. Un y decirle, Vas a and esto. it's going to be cold in the water, so y get no. out really quick. You've got about 30, 30 seconds to a minute. La agua va a estar bien fría. Sal de ella bien rápido porque solamente vas a poder estar ahí 30 segundos a un minuto. And even then, you're probably going to freeze to death. Y aunque... aunque aunque sí, tal vez te, te mueras congelada. We got to stand for truth. Tienes que pararte firme por la verdad. We got to stand against unrighteousness. Y tenemos que pa pararnos firme contra la injusticia. Until the... Cuando uno le habla a la persona y paran a uno. When you, when, you, when you speak to people and they stop you and they go, nah. I don't want to know nothing. And you, you, you're, you're in a, you're in a cult. So, you know, that hurt my, my heart. You know. Me duele mi corazón. And sometimes when I leave, my tear coming out. But. Y alguna vez lloro. ¿Qué yo puedo hacer con esa gente? I said, what? Yeah. Yo no voy a tirar perlas a los cerdos. I, I, I tell them que no voy a tirar, I'm not going to throw pearls to the swine. Dile que te expliquen lo que es una secta. Most Democrats can't explain what things are. La mayoría de los demócratas no pueden explicar qué son las cosas. El agua. They say we're fascists, but they don't know what the word fascist means. They say that we're fascists. Pero no saben lo que es ser fascista. Uh, a veces paran a uno de mala manera. They sometimes, you know, stop you dead in your tracks in a, in a bad way. You know, like they'll, they'll, they'll you're talking to them and they'll be like, you know, very disrespectful. It's not that they're hurting me. It's that they, they're hurting the word and it, hurt, it hurts me. You know what I mean? ¿Saben lo que quiero decir? Yes, I do. So that's why I said, One language. I'm, I'm sorry. One language. I'm over here going back and forth. <laughs> All right, let's just close in some prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful study. Thank you, Lord, for clarity of all things. Your name is Yeshua, and everybody said, Amen. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call.
if you have not taken your first steps to be born again. Just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close the Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha, That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.